Hey, the beach is gone. I'm back home and happy to be back home with my family. And I was just um, actually driving to the bank and uh, before we go do some family stuff. And I was reflecting back on some of the conversations that I had um, this last week in Mexico with some different, well, they're new friends now. And um, it was really, really, really interesting because um, a lot of the times conversations went really deep, really quickly. And um, I might've just happened to be around some people that value real relationships and, and some things like that. But new friendships were formed for both my wife and myself. And one thing, even from the, the, the best of the best or the most uh, sought after people that people wanted to hang around there to um, a lot of the, the, the people that you know weren't as well known, um, I had conversations with several of them about hard things. And one of the things that I realized coming away from that is I've gone through some hard things in the past five years that were really, you know, a lot of times out of my control with people saying stuff and doing stuff and, um, and, and, and just cutting off relationship completely for no good reason. And as I talk to different entrepreneurs out there, they've had similar things happen to them. And, and, and what, um, one of the guys actually said is like, Eric, I will. And if I said the name, most everyone would recognize who this person is, but he says, um, when I look for partners, I want a partner who I've seen in the worst of times, because in the worst of times you get to see somebody that is, is more desperate and how are they going to act in those uh, terms of desperation? Um, and so I, I just found it very interesting that in that raw state of someone going through some hard times, um, there's nothing to be gained from that, uh, you know, in terms of someone wanting to be friends with someone like that because they're going through that hard time. But some of these, um, some of their current partners now in wildly successful businesses chose them as a partner because they saw how they responded in the worst of times. And then I was just talking to some um, other people about the things that they've gone through um, and and um, where people could have um, judged them, disowned them, and when, it, when uh, the outcome of it was completely false. So whatever they were accused of was completely false and the truth came out um, um, a year or two years later but they still had friends that stuck with them through that. And when that happens, you realize who your true friends are, how people respond and act in adversity, in hard things and things like that. Um, you know, I so I just have a different lens of seeing that. And I opened up about some of the hard things with me and that's how true friendships are, are formed when you can open up with each other. But um, I don't know, it's just a great, uh, a great, uh, a great time. And that's one of the takeaways that was really kind of personal for me and I just wanted to share it out there. Um, if you are, you know, maybe that resonates with you and if it does, great. Maybe it will resonate with you in the future. But when you are um, embrace those hard times, the hard things, the difficult seasons in life or whatever it is, those are the things that make you. And I look back to those things that happened to me and, and um, marriage was strength and everything strengthened and came out of that fire or that difficulty much stronger than it was before and other true relationships were um were solidified during that time and um and now i have i have the scars i have the story and um and you can either respond two different ways to those types of hard times and depending on how you know some people will just go the other way and just hold bitterness and things like that or you can just embrace it knowing that you know you're going to come out of the other end even stronger and there are going to be hard things that happen in business period there's going to be things that happen that you didn't think that would happen there's going and and it's all about how you respond so um, I wanted to share that with you since it was on my mind. Sometimes you get pure business advice. Sometimes you just get some real in the trenches thoughts that um, uh, from me. So I hope you found it helpful.